Alright. Let's go. Chat for this video, free plebs. It's been a while. You know, I really miss this series, and I've been digging a lot for more content for it. It's taken me a bit, but after trekking through the dark depths of the vast digital ocean we all call the internet, I think I'm finally ready. Is that him? Yeah. Let's bring it back. Is it? For season two. two. <laughs> Bro, that's a face reveal! Fire. Bro, I can't get over oh, that. Oh, did you see this one? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, this is what you were gonna say? Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, look how- That's so fucking cr- Chat, who remembers this, bro? Bro. Who the fuck remembers this, bro? That shit was fucking scary as fuck. If you didn't dude. see this one, watch this episode, but basically- this is supposed to be a daycare, and people. What did people see or something? Or they they, they 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 don't see. They look in the windows and there's no one there, and like they never see any any workers leaving or entering it, and they only ever saw like two kids like at the front door. Oh with my. like with like backpacks on. Look how the windows are shaped. And like bro. people people like, looked into the windows and shit. And there's nothing there. There's just like a like a like a party table and shit. Welcome back to Disturbing Thanks, your one-stop shop for bite-sized creepy discoveries that I've recently made online. If you're new to this series, <laughs> oh boy, you're in for a ride. What is this guy if you're doing? Willing, check out the playlist on my channel to get caught up with the first 10 episodes. If you're a fan of eerie, disturbing content, then I truly hope they're worth your while. Anyway, with that out of the way, buckle down because it's time, once again, to dive into five more Handpicked and disturbing things from around the internet. Oh my fucking god. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. But you're listening to this? There's a reason you're in my stream right now. Go to your window right now. Close, lock it right now. Make sure it's locked. What? Make sure it's locked right now. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> okay, okay. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. No, but actually make sure your shit's locked. Seriously, go lock your door and shit. Wait, me the stream, me the stream, me the stream, me the stream. What? My bad, my bad, chat. <laughs> Just got, I got a spoon. Alright, alright, chill, chill, chill. Screams in Corpus Christi. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Our first stop involves a Facebook post made by a resident of Corpus Christi, Texas. On Sunday, May 31st of 2020, a user named Bernal uploaded a video of a strange sound he heard while out on a walk the night before. In the description, he describes his encounter as the following. Y'all listen to this. It's no joke. It freaked me out. Oh my god, I saw this. Has anyone I saw ever this. heard this noise there? Oh my god, this is so fucking scary. As I walked around the building and no one was around. The video is about three minutes dude, long. I, dude, this shit making me tear Chill, up. bro. Chill, 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 chill. This is like the area that it was coming from. So, I don't hear anything anymore. It was like a lady yelling, screaming. You hear it? Yeah. 
and there's nobody over there. What do you mean there's no one over there? I walked all the way to half he, of that. He was down there. Halfway. So you just believe him? No, there's I, a person yelling, but you just believe. No, I think I think it's like a I think it's like a uh uh I don't know, like someone maybe like tripping out on something. Maybe maybe like a like a homeless person or something. I mean it this just looks like a guy is st back shots? <laughs> Chad, bro, this looks like a guy is standing on a on a on a street corner and and filming a house and there's someone yelling. That's what this looks but like. Why is she yelling? I don't know. That's I like a walked all the way to half of that halfway. What is going on? This is tripped out. It is 12.44 a.m. right now, Saturday morning, and I'm off of Prescott at Cunningham Middle School. I don't know. What okay, it dude. Okay. It's a middle school. Okay, dude. Okay. What the fuck, bro? Do you know what that is? It's gotta be someone that's a on fucking, drugs. That's a fucking demon trying to lure in little children to the fucking middle school, dude. No fucking way. That's, that's what that demon, fucking bro. is, dude. That's a someone. That's someone tripping. Yeah, what's balls. that shit called? What's that shit called? La Flo uh, La Lorena. What's it called? What's that movie? What the hell are you talking about? What's the name of that fucking movie, dude? Janitor going crazy. That's what it is, right there, right there. That's what it is. That's the name of it. It's a it's a demon that, that lures in children. Oh, the screaming lady? Screaming lady. Teacher getting back shots. Okay. Okay, so it's that? Or it's someone on crack in the backyard of the school. Oh, that could also be. It is. It's freaking me out. <laughs> I think there's a second video too. Oh no, this is the one I saw! Now this is what I was videos, talking about! We've seen videos with screams like this before, and in hindsight, I'm pretty convinced that at least a few of those are mountain lions. Here, though, it sounds a bit different. This is what I was talking about. While this mountain lions talking. are no stranger to West and South Texas, something about this one just sounds human. No. Like, here. Just listen for yourself. Screaming. No, that's a person. What do you think? That's a person, Jack. Well, I'd like to keep a level head here. Something about this one, to me, just doesn't scream mountain lion. No matter what it that's is, though, hearing scary, sounds bro. like this, especially on a walk that late at night, it would absolutely cool. send me beelining it back home. Oh, yeah. If I were ever to hear that. If I'm walking? Myself. I wouldn't have a video of it, bro. I'm going to be honest. I'd, t I'd take a video running away. I'd get on a roof or something. Okay, flag. Yeah, imagine just standing there. What if you hear that shit slowly start coming close to you? And then, yeah, I mean, that's, Wait, yeah. is, this, is this okay to show? Yeah, 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 that's fine. On the night of September 19th of 2016, a YouTuber by the name of Dashcam Daily uploaded a series of videos to this playlist titled 2016-0919, Girl Ejected. Wait a minute, dude. If the name isn't enough to pique your interest, than what he captured while out on his drive what? just might. I don't know, I don't know. No, 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 there's, there's, the he hasn't shown anything. The documents a roughly 23-minute time span of their pursuit of a suspicious and erratic driver in Atlanta, Georgia. Dashcam Daily describes the chase as the following. The encounter started at approximately 3.40 a.m. Sunday morning on September 19th, 2016 in Atlanta, Georgia. I phoned 911 at the point where the girl was ejected from the vehicle and the driver placed her back in the car and drove away. Part 1 is the initial encounter where I first noticed the car stopped in the roadway. This was at the I-75, 85 and University Avenue interchange in Atlanta, Georgia. Ejected from the vehicle? That doesn't sound safe. Let's have a look. Oh, 
So oh, yeah, I'm what? not chasing him, but you need to get some fight when you get, him, get this guy pulled over. I, I don't know. I'm trying to get it get them called in. They don't come out doing any fucking thing. He continues. Part two is after I got turned around and noticed the driver was out of the car and had put the girl on the passenger side. Part three covers most of the pursuit through Atlanta and the driver leaving the girl on an I-20 access ramp at the Glenwood Avenue Memorial Drive exit. These summaries drive home the points that matters aren't getting any better. What the fuck is going Whatever on? dispute they're currently going through is becoming exponentially worse and that driver needs to be stopped as soon as possible. Opening a car door combined with reckless driving is a recipe wait, for wait, incredibly wait, 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 wait. serious injury or even death. Wait, he's driving with about the door two minutes open. into the video, wait. we observe dashcam daily and their continued pursuits. Be, but here, the, fucking the driver inevitably oh my God. Of he the crashed, vehicle. he crashed, he crashed. Holy fuck! The following is what happened. Holy shit! Oh my god, they both fell out of the car! Bruh, I'm Wait. not gonna show this. Bro! Is he picking her up? Bro, chill! Show it. Alright, I mean, you can show it now. Now you can show it. Chad, you can't just show someone, like, fucking... Honestly, you, we probably could have shown someone get fallen out of car. I mean, I, it's not... Okay. I mean, is it... It's not gory and there's no nudity. Like, why would it... I don't know. I'm, not, not, I'm just... I'm just... Okay, never mind. I'm not really sure where I'm at exactly. I just witnessed an accident. The girl was thrown from the car. Chad, you saw the woman on the ground. He literally just picked her up and put her in the car. That was it. I really don't know what's going on. She was trying to get out of the car earlier. After this bizarre incident, he continues his pursuits. Bro, this About guy just follows people. Numerous stops later, the car finally pulls over, giving the passenger enough time to jump out. Oh, so she's okay. What is she doing? She just got out of the car. They're fighting. Um... Oh wait, wait, you can show it if you want. They're fighting outside the car. No, we didn't miss anything. I think he's gonna follow. Fortunately, him. the driver left her behind before things escalated even further. The remaining video that the camera caught simply shows the rest of his pursuits before eventually losing. The Is this even a cop? Him. No. It's just a According guy following him. Yes, that's why he's reporting. Okay. That's why he's reporting shit in. Has been in touch with the Atlanta police. They were able to locate the female because the license plate on the vehicle was in her name. The guy driving the car is or was apparently her boyfriend. She's refusing to cooperate or press charges and would not give the police his name. The ladies in the vehicle that stayed with the victim transported her to the Atlanta Medical Center. She recovered from her injuries. So the guy just followed like- Thankfully, she made it out of this situation alive and without any major injuries since Dude, this could have easily I'm been so, so much I'm so confused what even just happened. I think this what happened was testament. they were fighting, she might have been drunk, whatever, whatever. And remember when he crashed and like swerved? Mm -hmm. I think she like grabbed the wheel or like hit him or something and then they crashed. Oh, okay. To how dangerous situations And then they got thrown out of the car. Especially at high speeds in a motor vehicle. That was fucking weird. If you ever witnessed witness something like this, like try Dude to stop think he Batman or some shit. Much like Dashcam Daily did on that late September night, you just might save a life. Damn, bro. There's dudes who just drive around patrolling, bro. It's kind of freakish. I'm not going to lie. God, dude. Oh, fuck. Is there gonna be some, just like baby shit or something? Anything, chat, anything with babies being possessed or little girls running around and giggling and shit? Fuck that. 
Waking up to realize that your child's missing. Okay, dude. Nightmare. What? Unfortunately, this was a grim reality for a New Zealand family. On the morning of August 9th, 2017, a report was made to Auckland police regarding an 11-day-old baby that was taken in the late hours of the night. What? The entire incident was captured on video. Have a look. What? What do you mean, have a look? XQC, watch this? Yeah, okay. XQC, watch this. Oh! Is it a woman? I don't know, but they got a mask on. They got a ski mask on. It's a woman. Oh my god, dude. Chat, lock your fucking doors, dude. Oh my god, she's holding the fucking baby. Yeah, she fucking stole the baby. Was that specific? Alright, bro. Jesus, bro. I mean, low key. What do you even do in the. Like, what are you gonna do? How is it just opening up? Oh, this. She had to have known them. Is, or, it, is, it, is that like a babysitter or something? Yeah, this has to be either a sister, a babysitter, a, a, an aunt. Um, a friend. This is not like a random, like... Thankfully, the infant was located and returned to the parents seven hours after the reports. I can only imagine how agonizing that time span must have been, realizing that they may not have ever seen their child again. Exactly. But, at least the baby's safe and sound. Good on that front. When we hone our focus in on the abductor, though, that's when this story gets even stranger. According to reports, this wasn't just some random stranger. This was a caretaker that was hired by the family to watch over their newborn as the mother was recovering from childbirth in the hospital. A woman by the name of Nadine Manakao Tokyo Valu was the one captured in charge of the kidnapping. As it turned out, she concealed her criminal record and posed as a fake caretaker in Auckland. She was so dedicated to her lie that she even went forth to throw a fake baby shower for the non-existent child and even sport a fake baby bump for the months leading up to the abduction. She was eventually sentenced to three years in jail, however was released after just three months. She was ordered to perform 400 hours of community service and to pay $2,000 to the family for reparations. However, they, understandably, are not pleased with that. How long did she get in jail? Three months. For stealing a baby! Bro, she stole a baby for seven hours, bro. What the fuck do you gain from stealing a fucking baby? Dude, she should have been locked up for at least five years, bro. Bro, you realize if a dude did that? Oh my god, I don't even bro. know. Bro! <laughs> Someone just donated a thousand bits and said, W thief. Sneak 100 W thief. Are you fucking psychotic? What the fuck is good with you, bro? actually psychotic. You're giving her like Skyrim like attributes. Nadine violated their privacy while they were at their most vulnerable and she lied to their faces regarding her criminal history. Now that she's out again, who's to say she won't do it once more? Did she not know she was on camera? I guess she didn't know. Dude, what yeah, She's just gonna go to a different state and do it again. She's on parole in California for the next three years. What the fuck is this, dude? Jojo side. Heartbreak can be detrimental to someone's mental health, and especially so if the other person leaves due to circumstances out of their control. In February of 2014, an Instagram user by the name of Jojo Tsai1012 would post text message conversations, essentially chronicling her relationship with her boyfriend at the time. The messages mostly appear to be pretty ordinary, with the pair frequently talking about music, their future aspirations, food, gifts that they'd buy each other during the holidays, and even the occasional arguments. Nothing really stood out as out of the ordinary. 
until a few weeks later. Fast forward, and you'll quickly realize that something went terribly awry. On March 6th of 2014, Jojo would post their text message conversation one last time. However, here, it was captioned with the following. We broke up for 12 days. I hang out with all kinds of men. Eat, watch movies, drink, sing, and any one of them is more handsome than him and richer than him. I said this just to show that I can't find a better man than him, let alone I figured how handsome and rich he is. There are a lot of well-conditioned men around me, and my friends who know me know it, but I can't accept others in my heart. Every time I play, I cry and I force myself. Smiling, I told myself that the most important thing to be a human being is to be happy. I kept hypnotizing myself, but after all, I couldn't hypnotize my heart. I don't understand. Since it's not me, why should I give me so many expectations and promises? Since he didn't want to even have a baby with me, why did I have to name it? He said that his mother did not agree for us to marry. He talked to me about a lifelong relationship, and we'd get married when we're older. This is really the most romantic love story I've ever heard in my life, but it's also a lie. I can't forget these things. They can't be forgotten. Unless I die. Fuck. Jesus. From here on out, she'd make 13 more posts, all aimed at her now ex in the span of just two days. The first involves her wearing some sort of eye patch, and one commenter believes that she's wearing it due to the sheer amount of crying she's done since the breakup. Whether or not this is true is unclear. Is she is wearing it for a few pictures onwards. I don't know. WVO. The next one shows her smiling with a cup of tea. The caption reading, From now on, you'll never see this kind of smile again. Fuck. Did you know there's a bird without legs? He can only fly around in the sky in his life, sleep in the wind when he's tired, and can only land once in his life when he's dead. That doesn't make any sense. You it turns out that all the nightmares I had in those few days were real, and the things I dreamed about were really happening. It was just that I was concealed and knew nothing about it. Everything was known to me. I've never done anything in my life. Bad things, why do you want me to suffer such torture? I've been living so hard these days. I want to let myself forget all of this. I want to control my emotions. Don't cry every night. But I can't do it. I can't do it. All this is right. It's too unfair to me. I can't bear it. Fuck. After I die, I'll haunt you day and night, and I'll never leave you again. Chad, what are you doing if someone says that to you? Let it burn. All the things like ashes float away. After this post, Jojo would go forth to upload this photo of her sitting on the edge of a building. Oh! There is no caption, however considering those in which we just read, it's clear what this image implies. Fuck. The last photo she ever uploaded was this one, showing more things being burnt. It's unclear what exactly this is, but some have speculated that these are her ex's belongings serving as one final goodbye to him. Yeah, she probably turned towards After the window where point, everything was burning and then jumped. She never posted again. Oh my god. Jesus, dude. It's widely claimed around the internet that Jojo committed suicide by jumping off the ledge. Interestingly, most of the articles claiming so are just regurgitating the same information off each other. The only bit of actual confirmation, and take this for how you will, comes from an online forum named Mop. Her alleged neighbor supposedly made a post claiming the following. This is real. We live in the same building. She died Saturday morning. No matter what, how much courage must it have taken for a little girl to kill herself? I hope she'll find peace in the afterlife. Jesus Christ. I, agree. I truly hope she's Fall damage? Chat! Bro, stop, bro. Ban this, that guy. Ban like, that bro. Hold on, how are y'all joking about this shit, bro? No, because dudes are trying to make jokes. Like, Ban that fucking guy, dude. Bro. Oh, my God. Mods, mods, just be... Oh yeah, go sub mode. Go sub mode. Dude, pe people it's in the chat were saying after this, the rest of the video is TOS. Um, yeah, and I saw it. 
because I asked Matt to review it, and he said the only thing that is possibly TOS is blurred. Okay, but Matt also donated a video of Dog getting his ball slapped, so... Watch. It's people... Look at watch. I don't even want to watch that. Look. Trust it's TOS. Jake, you're ruining it. You're a fucking mod saying that. You're literally a mod. Okay, but just because one guy claimed it's TOS, how is it TOS? Is one guy saying that? Okay. Did XQC watch this shit? 